What's up? We are in the final part. Hopefully, no, not hopefully. Yo, it has to be. It cannot not be. Anyway, and yeah, look, please go check out the previous part to gauge your bearings, guys. We are busy talking over here about abominations that cause desolations. Amen. In the persons of witches. And I say abominations that cause desolations because history is full of typologies and so are the scriptures full of typologies in the run-up to the future too. That speak of what it is that tends to just kind of chill itself in the holy place. A way it is that Christians are at and calls itself God. Like people who put themselves in a position to be God. People by Bayang Kodi Pedestoling and cause people to be afraid, be very afraid, the way that we are all afraid, very afraid of God, we ought to be, anyway. But they make themselves the thing that is the fright. They make themselves the fright night, like it's a vampire. They make themselves the scary thing that everybody must now run away from, and upon making themselves the idol, then basically cause the churn of God, you know how the Hebrews, uh, the, the, the select, the elect uh, Israelites, in the tribulation, when they see the abomination that causes desolation chilling in the holy place, that's when they flee to the mountains of Judea and don't go back to your houses to fetch anything, just run. Yeah. Uh, true saints, when they see abominations causing desolations, chilling in the holy place, in other words, chilling in the place of God, when they see an antichrist spirit chilling in the place of God, they flee to the mountains of Judea. Uh, because they realize Utikuzo Shuba next. It's gonna get real bad and nasty. And I have had so many abominations trying to cause desolations all around my particular life that have been chilling in the place of God, trying to take over Jesus. And all I've done is run. All I've done is flee like witches. All they do is make me run from them. All I do, like the guy in America, he made himself an abomination that causes desolation, chilling in the holy place. He cast spells. Like I got a dream of me and him sitting, having what looked like lunch or dinner, uh, in a place where I had been plugged out of the matrix. Not plugged out, like it's like I was supposed to be uh, plugged in some kind of a cryopreservation egg that would then usher me into eternity and all my brethren were plugged into it ready to fly and this guy removed the juice from me he unplugged my little egg and made me sit with him in isolation in the spacecraft this literally it was like a spacecraft in the spacecraft he made me sit with him and have dinner with him having been unplugged while all my brethren were plugged in and i was i, I had accommodated him I had allowed myself to be unplugged. It's like God was showing me, here is a person trying to take you away from me. Here is a person that is trying to rip you away from me. When I woke up from that dream, I saw it for what it was. I saw that that guy, and at that time we were broken up already and it had been a couple of months. And I, um, what is this? And I had gotten a dream where it is like about two nights prior to that. I had gotten a dream where I saw a giant manhood. So the private parts of a man that was wrapped in a condom that what that had the uh it looked like an american flag uh, an american condom like it was all over the condom it was an american flag it was an an, uh, an american flag condom thank you yeah and when i saw that i was like goodness perversity a spirit of sexual harassment perversity and somebody trying to be with him basically trying to negotiate for himself as even if i'm sick with the disease that i am sick with we can use a condom and he would come from america and I, I knew that there was only one American that was busy fraternizing with me in that way. So I knew it was that guy. I did not expect that he would contact me though. I didn't. The next uh, day, I then get a dream of me being unplugged out of some kind of a cryopreservation egg in a spaceship. And this guy is sitting with me, having dinner with me, where it is that he was unplugged from that spaceship, right? He was unplugged and now he was trying to unplug me. He was unplugged and now he was trying to unplug me. And the Lord was warning me that if I accommodate him, if I talk to him, if I let him come into my life, I will be unplugged. I will be unplugged. You know, in something like two or three days from that particular dream, I, he then sends me an email. Hey, what's up? I miss you. Let's talk. I still love you very passionately. Blah, blah, blah. I was like, yay. I saw you. I saw you. I saw this day. I saw you coming back. I saw you trying to unplug me from God. I saw you trying to apostatize me. I saw you. I saw you. I saw you hey guys. Yes, like I saw you in my in the email. I was like, leave me alone. I saw you. I saw the American flag with a giant manhood with a condom. I saw the the, the, the unplugged. I, I told him in my dream or you need deliverance. You need deliverance. You are not going to tarry me from Jesus. You are not. The Lord was warning me that if I allow this guy to come in, if I accommodate him very slowly but surely, gently, over time, like uh, what is the stealthily, in a very 
unseen way like you would like something that you wake up to all of a sudden and then you realize what you're so far from god indeed that was what it is that happened with me when i was with this with this guy i i, I got so drunk with with lust I got so drunk with lust, like tw I stopped working first and foremost, right? The work that I do every single day, I stopped doing that. Let's just put that out there. Why? Oh my goodness, I put tissue in my hair. I stopped uh, working out and not working out that too, but I, I stopped doing the work of the gospel and I started spending so many hours on the phone with him uh, on, on FaceTime, not FaceTime, Facebook um, video calls. Uh, type establishment thing and I would talk to him for hours hours going well into the wee hours of the morning on both my side and his uh, He was in the US of course, so we had different time zones and he got to a point where he was even talking literally dirty to me and I started out saying no I'm stumbled by that don't carry on and then I just took it like I allowed him to essentially have what would be the tenement of phone sex with me I let that happen so very stealthily gradually I fell into sin very gradually I accommodated darkness I start I dated a man the way that worldly people date they make out they kiss on all, all day and night they have sex they yeah before they even talk about big important matters that's what was going on with me and this guy I was slowly but surely being tarried from God and the Lord was showing me if you let this man come back into your life slowly but surely you're going to walk away from me you're going to do less and less ministry you are going to be um, extremely carnalized you are going to think carnally you are going to uh, allow him to talk to you a particular way you're going to settle for certain things that were an abomination to you once upon a time because he will have convinced you that they're not that bad and that god doesn't have a problem with them you are going to find yourself doing things that i convicted you are wrong because of the fact that you will have allowed him to come back in so if you want to be unplugged essentially from me or draw or draw responder uh, 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 positively to this guy don't let him come in and i told him no i saw you leave me alone you need deliverance and he still sent me money like a whole bunch of it i where he was hoping to convince me that it didn't work and that was the last time he ever sent me any money at all because he realized Guti, he can't pull my nose guy uh tap establishment thing yeah this random oki wako america is indeed the kind of like the thing that i'm talking about where it is that you know abomination that causes desolation a man that wants to make himself god he wants to be your provider never mind a man but a woman too uh, it can go both ways they want to be your provider they want to be the only people catering to your needs they want you to basically look to them look to them for every last one of your needs instead of to god they have put themselves in the position of god have they not they're an abomination that causes desolation they are something that puts itself on the throne of god in the holy place claiming itself to be god they're a false messiah do you understand what i'm saying and as a christian you do best to make like the jews in the tribulation and flee to the mountains of judea when you see this abomination that causes desolation you must flee to the mountains of judea do not look back don't go downstairs to fetch anything do not yeah I, I guess now my mistake was going downstairs to fetch stuff i shouldn't have responded to him i should have just ignored him because then i might have been better off and I, I was supposed to just flee instead i was like i see you for what you are and i told him where to get off and that's when he started slapping me with love spells death spells love spells death spells love spells death spells on a loop trying to make out of me juliet as romeo star-crossed lovers that die because uh, the families don't approve of each other the kingdom of darkness does not approve of me the kingdom of light does not approve of him so we love each other i guess we might as well just die together that's what this guy was trying to do with me i am juliet um capulet and he's romeo montague that's what under heaven this guy thinks he is or that he is anthony and i'm cleopatra just a man that worships a woman etc uh and the lord will have nothing to do with it i've also gotten dreams of him being brad pitt in meet joe black uh meet joe black you know that brad pitt meets claire Fulani, and in the end he gets all rapacious and selfish and greedy and wants to take a living woman with a future to where it is that he comes from given that he was the angel of death and this guy the lord has has shown me that he's like brad pitt with claire Fulani. he wants to take a living woman and take her to the hell that he's going to he wants to take a, a, a saint and basically condemn them and i don't that's not possible okay uh, nobody can pluck us out of the hands of the lord 
I don't know how many times I can say that but this guy is trying to do something that cannot be done he wants to take me to where he's going it's almost as if though he understands himself as thoroughly condemned and that he's like I don't know either blaspheme the Holy Spirit or something he just feels done you know like like he can never ever turn back to God and so now he wants to make me what he is so that we can all just die together uh, in peace he falls in love with the woman having never intended to and then upon falling in love with the woman wants to take her to the hell that he's going to just like Brad Pitt in Meet Joe Black. Ultimately, Brad Pitt goes into the darkness by himself. That's what's good. Not by himself, but with the dad of Claire Fulani. Uh, that's what's good. Yeah, uh, this guy in the US, the Lord has compared him to Brad Pitt in Meet Joe Black. The way he is so trying to take me to death. He is trying to take me to death when I still have a whole thriving life apparently, allegedly ahead of me. That's what, yeah, you guys know, guys, that God uses a whole bunch of uh, analogical speak to communicate to me what's going down in these ecosystems yeah so when a person is acting like the abomination that causes desolation you have no prerogative neither responsibility to do anything but run you gotta just run you have got to flee you gotta flee when you see a person setting themselves up as your god sitting in the holy place and calling himself jesus messiah redeemer provider protector when a person is claiming himself as the only one in a position to help you out in any way and there's no one else out here in these streets that god can use he is an abomination that causes desolation and this dude in the u.s did that where it is that he cast spells on me so that nobody else will help me support me have my back etc so that he can be the only person giving me any kind of money and dollars and the lord was like that's an abomination that causes desolation flee and that's exactly what i did i went to the mountains of judea and still to this day i'm there Kiko petra mm. i'm still at the mountains at judea and i'm having a hard time getting through the day because people have put me through a tribulation people have put me through a hard knock tribulation and it's my trouble now and given that it's my trouble i gotta wait for the second coming of the lord jesus christ to get out from this mess I gotta wait for Jesus to come directly personally and rescue me from basically the Antichrist rule. And this guy is walking in an Antichrist spirit. So um, my, my cousin is, is then in that regard also similar to this guy. Where it is that she's thoroughly trying to get me to fear men like these. Because apparently allegedly nobody is coming for me. People want me settling guys because apparently allegedly ain't nobody out here coming for me yo. And manje, when that is uh, people's disposition concerning you, all you can do is run, 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 run. Run, 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 run. My cousin is an abomination that causes desolation, having placed herself in the place of God, trying to cause a Christian to worship it. And she, this Christian is like, I'm sorry, I'm going to Petra. That's what's good. I'm going to go to the mountains of Judea and I'm just going to hang there. And, and until the second coming of Christ, I'm just going to sit and wait for the rapture. It's not the second coming of Christ the rapture, but I'm using these as typologies, analogies to help you understand the struggles that we're going through. This thing that my cousin is trying to do to make me settle and to also cause my younger sister to persecute me and also my younger sister to continue to disrespect me while me while I continue to think that God has not had my back, he doesn't care, blah blah, all that jazz, all of that intimidation, those fear tactics that they're using are abominations that cause desolation and they are attempting to steal the position of god who is our provider and our protector and upon fleeing you gotta hold fast because there is a tribulation i missed you so the stubbornness of my cousin i've been shown that she is gonna die because of it but the stubbornness of my cousin is not just the stubbornness of my cousin it's the stubbornness of many people and the wickedness of the wicked that ensnares them will indeed continue to ensnare them because they have sold their souls to the devil blah blah whatever do you you can always come back to god but you know you insist you've sold your souls to the devil so do you mm. they have sold themselves over to the diabolical one to the abysmal one and in so doing that now want to drag everybody down with them because they're scared of the breakthrough of the saints the lord is not going to give these people breakthrough he is only going to give them a ram he's not going to give their victims breakthrough he's only going to give them ram ramifications of actions of their deeds that they did in order to discourage them from continuing and if they don't they will pass away but for the victims of them the the victims of the witches that appear to be getting no answered prayer that's what i'm talking to now guys 
I thoroughly believe with every bone in my body that just as with the abomination that causes desolation, that we are going home. I believe that the rapture is going to happen because that's exactly what rescues the Jews. Like typologies of the tribulation are all over my life so much that I can't help but conclude that that's what's about to happen. I can't help but conclude because the wicked will increase in wickedness. They will put themselves in a position to be God and worshipped. And when you reject them, you got to flee to mountains because there is no safety coming for you other than for you to go off grid. And when you're off grid, the only rescue for you is going to be supernatural provision by God in the wilderness and his second coming. Because in Jacob's trouble, nobody rescues Jacob other than Jesus. So right now, if at all we are Christians in the run-up to the rapture, low-key kind of walking in some kind of a mild version of Jacob's trouble in order to strengthen tribulation saints to hold on to the end until pretty much Gupelile. We've got to also succeed to, I guess, hang out at Petra, wait in the wilderness for the rapture. Just wait in dry, arid, patchy land where it is that you ain't got no food, no money, no dough, no love. Ain't no hubby coming for you. Ain't no children popping out of you. Nothing going down. Just nothing. No breakthrough. Like you've prayed for everything and it's just nowhere to be found. You have prayed and prayed and groveled at the throne of grace and you have gotten nothing. And in the tribulation, that is the only time in the history of the human race where Christians appear to be getting no answered prayer. It is written in God's word that the Lord will uh, make, not the Lord, sorry, Maru Satan is going to be made, he's going to make war with the saints and overcome them. He's going to make war with us and to overcome us. So, well, I don't fit into that conglomerate. So let me not say us. Um, let me rather say you. Whoever's going to be left behind, he is going to make war with you and to win. Meaning that you will ask for stuff and you're not going to get it. You will ask for mercy and you're not going to get it. You will beg for mercy from the world and you're not going to get it. You will ask the Lord to give you breakthrough in your suffering and you're not going to get it. You will plead and grovel and beg to a God that has shown you that this is the worst time in the history of the human race. It is Jacob's trouble and also the trouble of any saint, anybody at all that alleges themselves to Jesus. You are not going to get much from God in the tribulation other than the seal of God on your heads and basically protection from plagues that will only afflict the wicked. Like when those scorpions that are the size of mankind are busy eating people for five months and they will be stung with so much affliction that they will want to die, seek to find death and not be able to find it. Yeah, uh, the those with the seal of God on their foreheads don't get stung by those scorpions. So that's all the protection you get. All you get is the fact that serpents and scorpions are not going to get to strike you, but you are not going to get the bread you want. You're not going to get the comfort you want, the peace. You're not going to get the love, the respect, the marriage, the basically all these things that they're going to continue doing. Celebrating, toasting, cheering, breaking bread. You're not going to get it. You're not going to get it. You're just going to get basically protection from that which slaps everybody upside the head, but not you. You're not going to get bitten by funny scorpions, but you will get bitten by the Antichrist. You will be beheaded by him. You will suffer at the hands of a wicked system that hates your God, um, that also is putting itself in a position to be your God. And upon rejecting it, you are going to suffer at its hands, but you are going to be protected from the judgment of God on the earth. The Lord's the wrath on the planet you will be spared from it well not all of it because really when plagues are falling and stars are falling and all that jazz they will also fall on wherever the christians are at and so by collateral damage you will also die but things like for instance menacing beasts from the bottomless pit stinging mankind for five months that's not going to hit you right such things as those you're going to be spared from there's also during the, the the time of the loathsome sores on the faces of people on the bodies of people those only are, are going to afflict those who took the mark of the beast so the rest of the world that doesn't have the mark of the beast are not going to break out into these loathsome sores so they, there is some protection some shielding just as i've got some shielding and some protection today i have got minimum just basically the bare minimum of what i need but i don't have what i want i don't have my desires fulfilled and that is going to be the tribulation for you you're not going to have the desires of your heart fulfilled only that which is what you absolutely need to survive to get from one day to another that's all you're going to get. I believe my life is a typology, a metaphor for the tribulation. As saints are going to go through what I'm going through. And um, the wicked around them are going to be doing everything in their power to force them to settle. 
to force them to capitulate to force them to do what it is that they want them to do like my cousin wants me to compromise like give me substandard or scrap provision that i did not ask for in order to undermine god's ability to provide exceedingly and abundantly above anything at all that, can, that i could ever think to ask for so it is about undermining the ultimate provision of provision of pro, provisional power of god um the ability of god to provide perfectly every good and perfect gift right um they want to undermine that they want you to get what looks like substandard breakthrough like you ask for certain things in prayer and then god gives you some two cents some two bob nyan of a provision some guy that doesn't make sense like if i had married that guy in america i would have prayed for like a decade over a decade for a husband um and the lord would have then given me some like twice divorced baby daddy that is not taking care of some kids with hiv like it would have just been like or it's high school to celebrate for 12 years celebrate for 12 whole years for a man like that it would have literally this uh, second guessed or downgraded god's provision or power to support power to help and the tribulation is going to be riddled with examples like those where it is that christians they're going to be insisting that we take that which god did not intend for us and it is about holding on and making sure you don't take it also um the inability to make money buy sell that i am walking in is so tribulation it's not even funny because those who refuse to take the mark of the beast will not be able to buy or sell they won't be able to participate in commerce how long have i been trying to monetize on youtube and then i got shadow banned i got blocked i got stopped unless i do what it is that the world wants me to do youtube will not let me monetize until i am basically a pagan secular uh they they like the day when i give my life to the devil is the day when i will suddenly start a youtube channel and it will thrive like you must understand that would entirely happen similarly to all the places that i have applied to in order to work they have rejected me i have suffered with that for a decade i have also um tried to write academic articles i have tried to tutor mentor i have guys i've tried to do everything i've tried to make money online i've tried to sell t-shirts um on like getting a print on demand on the internet and the site that i tried to use for this literally kept on crashing on me saying that i don't have a digital id number so i cannot partake in that particular commerce when i went to the or tried to go to the home affairs to get my digital id number I, the, the whole process, the, 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 my uh, FNB bank account refused to transfer the payment. The, like, I could not f finalize the process. And like, guys, I would, I've just been met with so many eerie, creepy things that have made it... In, uh, the, the, the online store that I wanted to use was Etsy because it gives you the first 15 listings for free. I couldn't go on Amazon because in order for you to sell on Amazon, that way you, go, you have to pay some fee. So I literally was blocked from selling print on demand t-shirts on etsy yes like it guys like I've, I've been through so many creepy things i have tried to make money to no avail to no avail i have tried there, there was this the, the, on the one site where i i've already spoken about this tried to write uh like to become a writer basically of uh, like academic articles and co i wrote such a well-researched essay and they still rejected me without a reason and it made me feel so little when i used to get like for guys when i was at varsity at vits my essays i used to get like 85 90 95 percent for them without fail every single one i was that good and here it is that i wrote a well researched a well uh what is this referenced cited paper and they say they, they just said no sorry next time try again next year you know that's i was like yeah this stuff is just gonna crush my confidence i realized that this stuff is is a what do you call this thing it's spiritual it is spiritual what have they done on that day they have made sure that i cannot make money i cannot make money i like the same article that i wrote i based it like letter for letter word not word for word but basically i i, I followed the instructions of the mock-up that they used to give as an example and i still failed i still failed yo guys yes i was like nah, I can't try fail like school long. i'm not used to failing at school especially not when i work on something for hours and days on end in order for me to submit it like it i, I just felt so small and i was like i'm sorry this is not me this is not like me this is not what do you call this thing uh it, it's not natural and again that, that same essay where it is that i was failed the lord gave me understanding in a, a word of knowledge that that same essay that i wrote they failed me and then gave it to another woman who was pushed along by an employee of that organization to resubmit that same essay 
and then pass with my essay they failed me in order to give someone else favor when the lord told me that i was like yo i these things are gonna keep on happening they're gonna keep on happening like they're probably going to keep on happening and with them continuing to happen like this i am going to find myself with such a low self-esteem thinking that i am no longer good at anything thinking that I can no longer do anything well. So I'm, I, I just stopped, I stopped trying. Essentially, I cannot buy and I cannot sell. I cannot trade, I cannot partake in commerce. I have been blocked from, I have studied so many channels as to how to make money online and whatnot and everything I have tried has rejected me. Goodness, I even got rejected for, uh, what do you call this thing? Transcribing, like typing in Jefe, like, yo guys, yeah. I have tried it all, I have tried. They refuse to let me make money. The world, it appears, refuses to let me make money. It refuses to let me trade. It refuses to let me buy. It refuses to let me sell unless I turn to the darkness. A woman as skilled and as gifted as I am is unable to make a single dime. My content on YouTube goes nowhere, even though it's really good. I can dance like no man's business and dance is very popular right now in the world. And yet my content goes nowhere. I have these dance videos that are so good. I see them for what they are. And yet, despite the skill level that I walk in, even in the craft of dance, I have 47 subscribers on my fitness channel. After uploading all those dance videos that you can see even in my ministry, to show you the side of my my life where it is that it is fitness and what helps me to get through the day. Like I have got 47 subscribers and they are not growing. The other day I was brave enough to even go and look at the time when I used to upload shorts and every last short has, has no views on it. No views. Every last short that I have uploaded is sitting on zero views. Now if you get no views on shorts, you know that that is manipulation. You know that that, that, that is manipulation because shorts, well, you will at a minimum get two or three people looking at them. I'm not even talking likes guys. I'm not talking no likes i'm speaking no views as in zero views on multiple shorts that i would upload in this on the same day nobody looking at them yes like it guys that 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 is a tribulation saint right there for you you upload shorts they go nowhere you upload uh long form content it goes nowhere you start a facebook page and when you get to 1000 followers you suddenly stop growing yeah it, like that's what's happened in my life i am living a tribulation saint life I refuse to take the mark of the beast so i can't sell and i can't buy i cannot partake in commerce i tried to open an online store for t-shirts gospel t-shirts with print on it that was uh gospel -y. and etsy said that without me having a digital id i cannot uh register on their site i tried to get that digital id from my country the home affairs and it kept on missing and bouncing and refusing to let me apply online it kept on refusing to let me apply. Yo, guys. Wait till Habaris Satani has been given permission to really apostatize a Christian or at least attempt. That's what's going on with me. The tribulation is a time like that. Where it is that Christians are not going to be able to buy or sell unless they get a mark on their right hand or on their foreheads. Not just Christians, but everybody. Um, and Christians are going to, of course, reject that mark. And so they're going to starve. They're not going to be able to eat. They're going to have to rely on basically what it is that is God's provision very supernaturally because nobody else has their back. Nobody will like them. Nobody will talk to them. Everybody will avoid them. Everybody will also hand them over to be killed. Everybody will be bimparing on them. They will be snitching on them. They will call them out like little rodents in a tunnel, in a hole underground. They will uh, uh, call you out or, or, or drain you out that way. You will come out like rodents, like, you know, pumping seawater into those tunnels to bring out the rats. They will bring you out like that, wherever it is that you're hiding. Like fire bombs, uh, stink bombs, tear gas. You will come out from the tunnels you're at and when you're out, they will strip you down like the way that the, 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 that um, Israel, the IDF, stripped down those surrendered Hamas, hosti not hostages, sorry, but uh, soldiers, those Hamas terrorists. And you will be in your butt nakedness uh, and then sent to a prison where you will be given one last chance to take the mark of the beast. And if you don't take it, you will be beheaded. You will be, your head will literally be chopped off. They will guillotine the living daylights out of you because you still insisted that Jesus Christ is Lord. That's what's coming fast and furious it's coming and my life is a, an eerie typology of that impending apocalypse where it is that because i have chosen jesus wonkumuntu is trying to pressure me away from him they are trying to kill me because i won't settle 
but they are also trying to get me to settle so they won't have to kill me people are trying to make me take the proverbial mark of the beast do you understand and because i need spice kelem sakon they like die then and when then i don't die they keep trying over and over again to see if you know i won't take the mark like just on a loop pendulously moving left to right between settle or die settle or die settle or die settle or die you don't gotta die so settle it doesn't have to be this bad garabo just settle and i'm like i don't wanna so that's why Gere, my life is a typology of the tribulation saint life because all of the the things that happen in the book of revelation to christians appear to be happening to me they appear to be happening to me all these diseases that are stinging you are not stinging me that's what's good all of these eventualities in life are not stinging me but the antichrist system is stinging me hard knock and now it's trying to behead me i refuse to take the mark of the beast and so for those reasons i cannot even do basic things that other people are easily able to do i can't just work i can't work i, I literally cannot just you know make gainful employment it's i can't i've tried for a whole decade gainful employment is eluding me do you understand weird little creepy stuff is going on with the cran cake everything is done over here up top creepy little strange things are going down with a carabo odd ominous freaky nasty stafizos be out your guan together forever with me and i'm like but no thank you and they're like well you don't get to say no thank you because no one says no to me the level of pressure uh, around my life the attrition just the force is astronomical the married men that want me kankani with entitlement i mean goodness like yes i was watching the lament the the, 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 the conference against un women that refused to stand up against what it is that was done to all of those rape victims uh, on the 7th of october massacre on israel and the the comprehensive disregard of just because you're jewish woman because after being so severely just raped brutally raped raped literally to death is shocking it's alarming when you listen to those testimonies where it is that women that would under normal circumstances stand with you in a particular uh, regard like over a particular issue because they feel as if though you are arrogant to hold on to your guns only because you are christian just in the same way that the the, the the israeli women that were raped the way that they were raped and mistreated the way that they were mistreated they got ignored by united nations women because of the fact that they are jews and the un is out just standing with hamas like Abba Fazi that will stand thoroughly and thickly against gender-based violence any day i'm using this as an inclusive gender-based i mean i know there's like already a lot and lots of moisture on my on my hair but i'm still gonna use it women that would stand against gender-based violence any day women that would support other women that are suffering violently at the hands of wicked men any day south africa is a country riddled with gender-based violence okay are standing back y'all <laughs> they're like un women they are like the women of the united nations that are, are, are happy to be protagonists against rape against women across the world for a myriad of reasons across multiple places yeah but like somehow uh, conveniently when the rape is happening against israeli women it's no longer rape it's no longer what it is that they claim like they first need evidence even though the footage is all over the show with these women their bodies the massacrings the autopsies that were found by medical responder uh, medical uh, professionals and also the first responders that saw women's bodies where that were found having been ravished raped you know undressed like Bodlo, what's this tops removed um bottom parts removed genitalia shot multiple times like that kind of like desecration of women was ignored by women in the united nations ignored by women in the un and there was a whole conference speaking about how it is that oh so now you're gonna ignore king rape in so far as it is a uh, jewish women that are being raped just in so far as it's jewish women that are being raped it's not rape then and in my case it's like oh so because i'm a christian woman and i'm sticking to my jesus guns on that day then i'm not raped on that day that i'm not afflicted then on that day i'm not suffering gender-based violence like you will stand against gender-based violence as women unless of course this gender-based violence that you're standing against is against a christian woman if it's a christian woman you will keep quiet and do nothing you will watch men act a violent fool
treacherously so against me because I'm a Christian and because I'm holding fast to my guns. Things that you would quickly get on an aeroplane and get to a place in order to comfort a woman and basically get her all the justice and the support that she needs. You will do that just not for a Christian girl. Just not a Christian woman. Uh, the whole, uh, what is this? The motto of these rape organizations where it is that they speak out against women, women uh, against rape against women. They, the, 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 the reigning theme or motto is always believe them, always believe them. Like always believe them. Do not award anybody an opportunity to second guess their testimony, their witness. Just always believe them. And I keep on coming to you guys with dreams and visions of rape where men are slapping me with Gorobella, trying to marry me by force. Married men trying to take me gang and gang. Married men trying to take me by force. Okay? And I've been lamenting on rooftops things that women would under normal circumstances absolutely resent. Absolutely resent. But because it is a Christian woman talking, because I am a servant of the living God, you are doing nothing about the gender-based violence that sits so strongly and so richly in all of y'all's hearts. Yeah, well, in the tribulation, Christians are gonna have no rights. Everybody else will. And things that you stand very strongly against, you are going to hypocritically disregard your stand against them. Insofar as those decrees or those things that, are, that malign, are maligning those who profess Jesus. You are going to conveniently neglect recollection of your own value set insofar as you're dealing with a Christian woman or man. And you will completely ignore sorrow that you have are an activist against. You are the primary protagonist, if anything. And you will ignore utterly and comprehensively that thing only because the person in question that is the perpetrated, the victimized, is a Christian. You are already doing it. You have already commenced the steamrolling activity against Garabo. You have already committed a grand abomination that is going to render you essentially very worthless. I need to figure out what is going on here with this head. Yeah, you've already done, done that, but like in all of your denial, you will act as if though just as people women are currently acting like they don't see that I'm being um, sexually abused by men I am being massacred by men I'm being paraded by wicked men I am being afflicted by men and there are evidences all over the show I am obviously being waited on to settle for wicked men I am being forced to sleep with men I am being forced to settle for rape and women are just standing back they are aloof <laughs> Well, that aloof disposition, it's been predicted, prophesied, written about in the word of God to be a thing against the body of Christ. You will ignore their human rights. See, I used all of it more or less. Uh, there's nothing. I can't keep this because it's going to rot in here. So I have to throw this away and wash it out. But I pretty much went through all of it. Yeah, um, my, my little hair treatment that has fenugreek and everything, it's a leave on. So, yeah. Uh, what I'm gonna do over here, I'm trying to figure out, like, I don't want to stay with these twists because I'm not gonna be able to stay in them, like, for, like, a month. What in the world do I need to do, Mondi Matohomona, guys, to make sure that I can just carry on? I don't know what to do. I haven't got a clue. I don't know what to do. Uh, like, Timothy Traddle. I, I don't want to roll around in these twists unless, of course, I do something with these twists to style them. Then in that way... I can keep them on my head. Shall we style them? Let's style them. But to style them, I'm going to need a lot more hair ties than these. Will I? Nah. I'm dreaming. Like, put them together. Yeah. Just put them together to make sure that they don't snap pity doop 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 break. Yeah, no. That's what under heaven it is. That, um... It's going to be the general disposition of the earth uh, in, in the very, very end of the end, y'all. And with it being the general disposition of the earthy own. Ah, uh, see, now I've been distracted. See, why are you going to be distraction? Yeah, that being the general disposition of the planet, um, in the very end of the 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 end. Uh, Christians got no one but each other and God. And, well, I don't even have Christians. I don't even have brethren all up in my grizzard on some girl. I know you in trouble, it's okay. You're gonna leave, you're gonna be fine. I guess there are Christians that are also gonna be very, very severely isolated where it is that they are trying to hide from the thing that goes bump in their particular night. 
yeah i suppose there will be others just like the crank hey? uh but there will also be others who thankfully got each other but it's just generally going to be a very isolated time for the body of christ like yeah every man for himself type thing and you better pray and hope that ain't nobody out here busting you being a christian because then you're gonna get beheaded like survive live make it run flee to the mountains of judea do that mm-hmm uh like just run just make your life one that is full of running like square for hire just run 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 hey run on down hey gang 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 baby 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 what am i gonna do with a gen z guys but how it's about the square for high with your Ben Tens, like seriously Niangi Langel. I'm a Ben Ten in Agazoazi. U square for hire. Run, 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 run. Run on down. Remember that? Da anyway, whatever. Mm. Tumbaga nostalgia, listen to one about Dranong Halo Honyo Huti Pana Mosi Piling, cause Lita we Grandsha. That's what's good. Okay, so what I'm gonna do over here, I'm gonna go in the shower, and the shower water is going to like melt the stuff and like whatever. Then I'm gonna put a plastic bag on it and sleep like this overnight, and I'm only gonna take this plastic bag off after 24 hours. That's how I moisturize my hair. And then, you know, next thing, Shapile Tuku. And when then we shop at the doogie, uh, the doogie is, is going to dry out the excess water as I sleep on a, a, a towel on the bed. And then after that, like the hair is just going to stay like, you know, minimally moisturized for the rest of the week. And then uh, this will be what I mess with, guys. This will be what I mess with every week. This is this is what I will wash my hair in. Do you think it's gonna succeed? What do you think? Do I have prosperity? What's your thought process? Come on, talk to me. Talk! Okay, yeah, this is what we're dealing with. Mm. I think this is the kind of like protective style that you can hang with for a whole month. Washing your hair every like month. Maybe every second week. What do you think? Hmm. Yeah, washing your hair every second. I was actually therefore supposed to wash my hair this week, but whatever just washing the hair every month what in the world but in terms of my moisturizationing process i will be able to get to my scalp with this hairstyle instead of the other one because the other one ain't ning tumpa guys i didn't even know how to navigate that's why i didn't moisturize last week but if i don't moisturize ain't no hair gonna grow ain't no hair gonna do a growing thing ain't no hair gonna grow y'all we need the hair to grow don't nobody like her that don't grow don't go chasing waterfalls anyway whatever Mwaga ha usemse you we are kaza anyway y'all guys look i think i'm at the end of this particular conversation um yeah my scalp is not itching well no not really actually maybe it's because i was dry what do you think what dunk jala and then in terms of the hair on the nape over here yeah well we still have it in like little tiny platima bobbies and we want it to grow because my nape hair is doing like stunt work it's always being afflicted by dooku so now i've got these little things and hopefully these will help it come around you know what i mean yeah otherwise we love the hair from jesus look at the product it's doing a thing y'all can tell this thing is gonna grow my hair like wildfire don't you lie don't you tell no fib don't nobody like it when you out your lie the father of lies is the devil and if you do that you belong to him okay cool beans and bananas uh, so you're therefore only gonna see this hair it's really day after tomorrow because tomorrow i'm gonna rock up with a wig given that i'm gonna have a doogie and a plastic bag basically moisturizing super and that's what causes my hair to do all this by the way like it gets all thick and beautiful because of that <laughs> Okay, yeah, no, uh, I need to change my bed linen. All right, guys, I wish I had, oh no, now I don't have it, oh, come on, come on. Okay, I've got one last Pumula ring thing here. Saved by the one last Pumula ring thing. Everything else I ran out of, you know, if I had my own house, I'd have like a whole studio just to do hair in it. So that like everything Ewelang Mofazi would fall on the floor. Guys, look at my hands, they're kind of yellow. <laughs> and this thing has turmeric in it. Guys, turmeric, I don't know what it does for hair, but it does this for me. I feel like it removes gray hairs. Okay, fine, so I've never had gray hairs, but I mean, really, I've got super black hair, so it suggests that it removes gray hair. It blackened my hair extra, and I think it's the turmeric that did that. Add turmeric to your hair care routine and see what happens. <laughs>
anyway whatever yeah so guys i feel like i've said everything i needed to say i don't know um i've digressed but who cares bottom line is all the information is out uh what i'm trying to explain to you guys is that the tribulation is coming and that's unfortunate because like i want to see where my hair is going <laughs> i want to see where my hair is going I want to see how big my hair is going to be after like three years. <laughs> I can't wait to have such big hair that I can do twists as if on Jefela and they're going to be like long dangling up to here. And so that's what I just keep around on my head as a protective style. When it's still this short, it's frustrating because you have to make many twists. You have to make just, it's just so hard to work with. If it's super big, it'll be more manageable. Lord, I want that day to come. But the way that these people are rolling, it appears it's never going to come. I'm never going to get to see my afro do a thing. What are we going to do with him? What are we going to do? They don't want to repent, God. So I mean like this cousin of mine. I girl. There was a time when I used to love you, but I don't now. Like proper, you've made sure that I'm Saktandi, girl. But maybe God still loves you. So if God loves you, then I, I suppose when I lift that shot, say it again. That's what's good. You've got a shot, Nyana, to do a better thing. Love the Lord, even though Karaba wants nothing to do with you. Like, I want nothing to do with you. But the Lord might just want something to do with you. And because the Lord wants something to do with you, if you give your life to Him, who knows what He might do in me for you? Yeah, that's what I'm getting at. It's written in God's Word that a gentle answer turns away wrath. In other words, when you pacify a person away from walking around with ikota like this and eating it inside ikota. I'm sorry, I just like I broke out into that sentence because this looks like ikota guys. <laughs> but it's my hair and all this moisturizer in it. Okay, cool. Beans and bananas. Get tissues and Yeah, okay, I'm gonna waste that last bit because I cannot preserve it in any way. Cause if it had like preserv preservative in it. I would keep it for the next time, but it'll be smelly and rotten by then. Cause this thing gotta be put in the deep freezer for it to maintain its joy. Okay, cool beans and bananas. So, does that not look like a work of art? You cannot deny, it looks like your baby's diaper. Okay, pew. Uh, good beans and bananas. Cousin, like yo, chick. Uh, uh, prima. I, I've been watching the flash, so I know that the cousin means prima in Spanish. Oh, prima, you are like Esperanza. That's what's good. If you've been watching The Flash, you will know exactly what that is. There was this chick there by the name of, um, ah, oh, how can I forget her name? She's got a cousin, uh, Esme, uh, by, the, by, the, by the name of Esperanza. And Esperanza is like Ikeza, Elinge Eli Hadnog. And back in the day, they both used to be criminals. But then the other chick got re recovered, you know, uh, to basically a better life. And she's now a reporter and everything. But Esperanza chose a life of crime and murder uh, type setup thing. What's her name? How can I forget that chick's name? Anyway, whatever. The, 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 the character that is the better girl, that has done a better thing, basically got saved. Uh, the ten amount of salvation and so now you're no longer a criminal. Yeah. Uh, Esperanza dies, chick, in the flash because we're busy why insist on being a criminal. That's what's good. We are bored at Utigin. And now Usile Kaznyahe Alice Aliwan. And this chick again andaba that Esperanza has died because Esperanza made herself a mortal enemy. And that's what you're doing to me. You're making sure that no more sure now it's like, oh, it took a fate. Never mind, all took a fate. You are making sure that I'm like, oh, it's died. Like it's a rodent or a fly that I have swatted on the wall. You are making sure that you are like Esperanza. And Esperanza with her criminality. Nobody, like she doesn't win. She belongs to some gang. And it, it, they, she also gets messed up in the brain by brain uh, manipulation through some other guy that's using meta humans in order to kill. So when uh, you've made yourself a meta human for the devil, I'm a meta human for God. And I'm out here prophesying against you. And you are out here insisting on sticking around in Esperanza Boulevard. Mafunuk border girl border, ne? Maranakyokatalukanyaura in this state. If you die in this state, if you pass away in the state, I won't care. I am telling you right now that if you die as Esperanza in this state, what is this chick's name? I forgot the, 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 the one that's better off, man. You will understand if you watch The Flash. And I watch it like every day. So I get why I get to high. But I guess that's what happens. Sometimes the devil and the devil. Anyway, whatever. The lead, one of the, 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 the characters, one of the, the light matters 
in the flash has a cousin that turned that basically stayed in crime while another cousin escaped it leah you're staying in the dark while i escaped the world and we used to be best friends but then you became my big fat bully and then i gained superpowers that were above yours and ultimately one day in your bullying endeavors on the earth you died and if you die in the state esperanza do it you must understand with every bone in your body that i will not care you have exsanguinated love out of my heart you have made sure that I don't care about you and what happens even though we were very tight. So, how ka tlhoka fala son? Ha go ba ko If you die like this, I'm not even going to comfort your parents. I'm just going to be absent at a distance, a distance on some I want Esperanza. But she continued in her gang activity. You do better to repent and trust the Lord to recover my heart to you. It is currently it feels impossible because i'm funing on sanji you are my mortal enemy obizi on so bata hong polaya esperanza in the show the flash tried so very many times to kill her cousin her prima what's the girl's name why get mo lebala how can i forget that chick's name anyway she tries multiple times ke feel anga ke anga le google le bizo lena because anga se le hopole it's just gonna mess me up in the brain yeah um esperanza cousin esperanza cousin flash show just oh goodness my computer it is so so slow she's esperanza garcia allegra how can i forget like yes allegra allegra i'm like allegra in the flash in the show the flash i am the cousin that used to belong to a gang with you we used to do strange things together and then i broke free and i got out and i did a better thing with my life while you stayed in the darkness and the darkness killed you the darkness murdered you esperanza doe that's what's good and like allegra when esperanza dies it's like it is what it is it's happened like when you don't mourn too much for somebody that you would have once upon a time been made destitute laying waste mown to the ground flattened as with a steamroller if anything negative happened to them never mind if they died and then you extract lerato from out of peluamoto until she wants nothing to do with you you are now today like esperanza walking around me on some prima prima trying to kill me every time you see me the way that you have been so seared in your conscience the way satan has taken you over gate he has literally taken the reins and driven your particular truck and you are no longer in control and you are trying to kill umuntu allegra that you grew up so fast like a tight the two of you were closest to, uh, among anybody else in this world never mind in the family and then now today we are mortal enemies esperanza in the flash dies and the reason why i'm even speaking about this is because god has used example yeah allegra le esperanza in 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 my particular life to explain to me urweza langarona you are literally like esperanza i'm your bugela on netflix the flash there is a chick by the name of esperanza in season seven or whatever or season six and then it enters into season eight etc that is used to be best friends with her cousin her prima and then they become mortal enemies he tries to kill her she ultimately dies in the hands of allegra with allegra trying to save her Allegra tried to save Esperanza because as she was telling Esperanza don't go for revenge don't do these things stop this darkness it's going to kill you and she went anyway and she got killed and there was nothing that Allegra could do the lord is going to end your life because you are a menace to society oh Esperanza and as Allegra I told I'm not going to miss you in this state I go go bola I bana o batla love back like these randos but better bring back lost lavara kya ka repent you need to repent to get me back otherwise lifula gago lo bata ho sena ka rabo batswadi ba gago ba utlile botlhoko because ke hanne ho ya lifung you must get that that's exactly what's going to happen and is by skelem sako you are evil you are wicked you are full of gaslighting and ape o tsusa o tsusa se family ya go fela you have scared everybody into submission to you we can say satan nyana we can say i don't you've made yourself god and if you don't stop these things oh spsp ke o ka tlhaloganya esperanza ranzi 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 pelil you are going to die go ba ta wa nkutla go ba ta go lifung la hao in a way that it's going to be hot mo lengte o tla be o tshadi heleng mar lifula hao lo ba ta because i'm not going to be there do not say i did not warn you i'm signing out in god's name in in christ's name karabo let's go and just finish this whole thing rotlapa kwenke bye